Hey everybody, it's Emily, and in this video I want to explain to you how I finally got growing kale here right. <laughs> well, what I did was that I planted kale late last summer. I wish I could remember exactly when, but I don't. I planted it late last summer, and we ha I have been harvesting since sometime last fall. And this spring, it got crazy. It, you know, it all started to bolt, but these leaves still taste good. They're not really strong or, peppy or peppery or whatever, but they started to get really tall and really big this spring. I haven't had any aphids or cabbage worms. Now, the reason I haven't had aphids, the reason I didn't get aphids last year when we were, it was still plenty warm, was I had them covered with row covers. That is how you keep aphids off your brassicas. Row covers, hello. Uh, why didn't we think of this before? Anyway, way too high now, obviously. For, they've been way too high for row covers for a while, but they still haven't gotten any aphids or cabbage worms because, or you know, cabbage moths, I mean, cabbage moths, cabbage butterflies. Uh, it's still way too early. It's not even May as I'm making this video. It's the very end of April. <laughs> It's way too early for those critters. I, I did find one green worm on the kale in front of the house. So it's not really, it, it's not too early at all, but it's too early for most of them. But look, one reason to plant brassicas in late summer is then they bolt, they bolt in the spring. And then what do they bring into the garden, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, the pollinators. The bees are having lots of fun making kale seeds. <laughs> lots and lots of kale seeds. There were, there were way more flowers. I, should, I almost wish I'd made this video a few days ago when it was, all, it was all yellow. It was even prettier than it is now. But this, finally, I figured out in the south, if you want to grow lots of kale, and by the way, these are really, they're, they're pretty much spaced too close together. Um, yeah, and I, I'm not going to get into how that happened, but um, it worked, you know, I just had to give them extra water. I had, I had put fertilizer in the soil ahead of time, so at least the soil was fertile. But yeah, I have to, so I need to put it in when there's still plenty of sunshine, you know, sunshine left in the days. The days are long enough with bright enough sun, so late in the summer I plant it, keep it covered, and then all through winter and the spring we've been eating kale just out of the garden and you can't compare garden fresh kale to the store-bought stuff. The store-bought stuff is tough and it doesn't taste great because it was harvested two weeks ago, blah blah. And then when it bolts it's a really nice focal point in your garden. I'll back up a little and let you see. Let's go over here. Look at it. Yeah, I mean from the from the entrance to the garden from the door I mean this is like what catches your eye so there we go learn something new every year in gardening will I will I try to grow kale in the summer well I am I do have some new baby kale growing and it is covered so that critters so that the big critters can't get to it I'll have to put row cover on pretty soon to keep the aphids off but this is easier. This is a lot easier. It's much easier than growing it in the summer. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Let me go around to the, um, here's some dock bolting. Speaking of things bolting, it's almost May here, so lots of things are bolting already. Alrighty, anyway, there we go. Here's the other side. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has inspired you to grow more greens. Lots and lots of kale, isn't it? Yeah. If we had neighbors who ate it, I'd be giving it away. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. And I hope to see you for the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you want lots more vegetable gardening tips, whether you live in the north or the south. Most of them will apply no matter where you live. But yeah, make sure you subscribe. And anyway, I hope to see you for the next video. In the meantime, take care and very happy gardening.
like this guy.